bad budget anyway, do you? Uh, <laughs> no. Thank you. Right, now, from Donald Trump to uh, Angela Merkel, world leaders always try to project an image of power and stability. Uh, that's far removed from the desperate and powerless images associated with refugees. But a young Syrian artist has gained international attention for paintings that merge the two. We'll be talking to him in a moment. First, let's just have a look at some of his work. Some of the images uh, from Abdullah Al Amari, who uh, is one of 65 artists featured at the Accessible Art Fair in Brussels, which starts today. Uh, he joins me from there. Uh, now, th your story, you were born and raised in Syria. You didn't actually follow the traditional migrant refugee route as we would understand it. So, so what compelled you to tell those stories using world leaders? Because I, I don't think you, you took that sea or land route, did you? Uh, indeed, I didn't have any exciting uh, path towards Europe. I had, I had an airplane, I had a visa to Paris because I had an exhibition at that time, three years ago. But uh, that, that doesn't stop uh, me from uh, talking about the, the collective problem that that's some collective community is facing, so through art. Yeah, that's, I mean, that's I know, the, the image mm -hmm. is uh, compelling because you see the faces of these incredibly powerful world leaders uh, associated with the mm -hmm. vulnerability of, of the refugees. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, and that makes it really quite a powerful image, doesn't it? Just talk us through some of them. I mean, we've got, we've got uh, a selection here. So I think we're going to show um, Bashar uh, al-Assad to, to start off mm -hmm. with. Just talk about why you mm -hmm. chose that particular uh, style of representing him. Mm -hmm. Actually, the painting of Bashar al-Assad was uh, mainly uh, the one that is the, the easiest for me to depict since I, for the rest of the, of the political leaders that I made portraits of, I had to make a research of their con uh, cultural context of, of the country, how would they look like if they, be, if they would be vulnerable in their context. But for Bashar al-Assad, I didn't have to make a research because I know the whole story. So you would see him uh, probably coming out of the Mediterranean Sea after a long journey in the, on, on a boat, uh, like yeah. with, a, with a boat on his hand. Yeah, almost I could, uh, and, insane. And, and, and Angela Merkel, for example, that's another striking one mm -hmm. because mm -hmm. with some world leaders, you don't associate perhaps empathy with the refugees but Angela Merkel curiously did show that and that's led to a mm -hmm. lot of political problems for her yeah uh, th also I, that's a good question my aim wasn't actually showing only like it wasn't uh, offensive to to show the, the 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 political leaders as vulnerable so I also wanted to show some other Politicians that that were not necessarily negatively involved in the in the in the refugee crisis, but also just involved, and uh, yeah, it's it's about showing the vulnerability as a general theme. It's it's nothing. It's yeah, as I, as I said, it's not. Uh, what was the word? Sorry. Do you know yeah. what, Abdullah? I think they're, they're stunning images. I know you're not exhibiting you. these at the fair where you are today, the Accessible Art Fair, but uh, good luck with uh, everything and thank you very much indeed for joining us. Thank that you. is it uh, from us. We are done. More on the website. Bye-bye.